attention, please. Our talk session will begin in a short while. Hopefully, the audience will give full attention to our talk and make sure that your mic is muted all the time. Please download and change to the virtual background provided. All the cooperation given by everyone is very appreciated by us. Thank you. Uh, please download and change to the virtual background provided. And remember to prepare pens, pencils, color pencils, and 20 pieces of A4 papers. Thank you.
A very good morning, I bid to one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Liu Xiuan, who is the MC for today's workshop, which is Urban Sketch Workshop. It's our pleasure to welcome all of you this morning. We are here together to learn more about Urban Sketch and Fast Sketch. Attendees, we would like to move to our main agenda, which is a talk, Urban Sketch Workshop, that will be delivered by our special invited speaker. For information, Dr. Ruzami Bidmat Rani is the founder of Shrozania.com. Freehand visual communication skills and freehand visualization skills. Rosania is a one of the biggest platform in the world promoting freehand visualization skills. He is also an active writer who has produced over 15 books related to visual communication and the sketching process. Without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Ruzami Bin Mat Rani, our speaker for today, to deliver his insight. Okay, thank you, uh, Shi Wen. Do I pronounce it properly? Shi Wen, right? All right, yes. Yeah, thank you very much, Shi Wen. Um, thank you again to uh, Ms. Farhana and also the team who invited me to this session. Um, uh, how do I start? Okay, I don't want everybody to be very serious. Uh, that is one thing. Don't too serious. Don't too be, don't be too serious because when you want to learn something about drawings, you need to be very relaxed and then enjoy your program. Okay, that is the most important thing. I know that uh, I knew some of you have already met me before and some of you did, uh, didn't. So what I want to, to do to ask you to do is to relax, enjoy the programs, and then if you have anything to ask related to these uh, uh, topics, free, free, uh, feel free to ask. Don't wait until at the end of the session. If you just uh, just uh, open up your mic, uh, switch on your mic, and then just ask me uh, during my session. Just interrupt me, and then sir, I, uh, doctor, I've got a question to ask. Uh, by all means, I try to help you to answer the questions. Okay. Uh, allow me to share the screen. Uh, I'm not able to share my screen. Anybody can help me? Still um, not able to. Oh, okay. Wait, wait a minute. Doctor, yeah. can you can you try yeah. now? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you see my my slides? Urban Sketch Workshop by Doctor Zaimi with Penang views, Penang Streetscape. Sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a topic given to me uh, by by your department. Um, it's actually interesting topics to to discuss. Okay, and I'll do some uh demonstration and then hopefully you will follow my my instruction and do whatever things that i asked to do frankly speaking this is not for me it's for you okay try to get as much as possible the skills and knowledge from this uh, uh topic uh discussion okay okay before we start um i'm going to have i want i i would like uh, to announce that um, Drozania.com will sponsor um, for three best participants uh, one month subscription fee, uh, free in Drozania.com. Okay, so if you want to have that uh, access access to Drozania.com, do participate in the participate in these uh, programs, and then during the the discussion too, uh, I will give you marks, and then you. You calculate by your own after at the, at the end of the session. Then we declare in chat. For those who receive the highest mark, the third, the three highest mark will get the 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 prize. Okay, can we do that? Okay. So this is the first uh, assignment that you need to do. Uh, can you freehand visualize me? Your imaginary urban streetscape in human eye view perspective. Uh, this is A4. Can you imagine this using A4 paper? And then uh, landscape format. Draw me an urban streetscape. 
in human eye view perspective. Uh, please do not refer to your uncle Google. Okay, please do not refer to your uncle Google, refer to your mind. Okay, the reason why I will explain it later. What I want you to do is now is to sketch me an imaginary urban streetscape based on human eye view setting. Can you do that 10 minutes from now? Okay. And once you finish, can you can you share in your uh, pet light? Is it? Can you do that? Uh, Padlet, can you sh uh, after once you finish, then please everybody share it in, in Padlet, and then for those who are for those who share in Padlet, give yourself ten marks. Okay, give yourself ten marks once you you post it on Padlet. Okay, thank you. Ten minutes from now. Any questions? Ah, uh, good luck. No. <laughs> okay, good luck. Uh, while drawing, if you have any question to ask, feel free to do so. I'm I'm here to help you to try to answer. If I can, I will do some research on that on that questions. Okay. Any question? Uh, do do a landscape format setting. Eh? Do a landscape format setting. Please do not refer to Uncle Google. It's important that you can draw from your mind. I will help you later after this. For those just coming in, um, this is your instruction. Uh, you need to draw a sketch of urban streetscape uh, based on human eye view perspective. Um, and those who just come in, uh, we will we will uh, select the three best uh, students here to receive a sponsor from drawzania.com uh, for a one month subscription subscription in drawzania.com. Okay, so uh, those who are already finished uh, sketch the idea, feel free to uh, launch it in Padlet. Uh, and then those who already submitted, give yourself 10 marks for submitting in, in, uh, in, on Padlet. Okay. Uh, please do not refer to Uncle Google. Uh, it is not for me, it's for you. Uh, you have to train your mind and then your ability, your free hand ability to visualize those ideas. I'm very sure you've been in a streetscape in a, in an urban area, especially you are, the University of USM itself is located uh, by the fringe of the Georgetown. I'm very sure everybody already went to Georgetown then I'm very sure you have some ideas about Georgetown. If you don't have, if you're coming from other towns, I'm very sure do, do, do draw whatever towns or streetscape that you think uh, that you can draw based on the, the instructions that given to you on the slides. Okay, may I see the padlet? Where is the padlet? Nobody. We still. I'm going to wait. Anybody wants to? Oh, uh, we still have six minutes, twenty-four second. Do you know why I give you ten minutes? When when you were in when you are in a, an urban area in a streetscape when you want to do a live sketch for example, 
you don't have time to draw everything. You need to draw whatever that you can capture. And then you cannot stand about 30 minutes, uh, stand up in front of uh, in front of a view that you need to sketch very fast, especially in urban area because people, people are moving, vehicles are moving. So how do you manage to do, how, how are you going to do that? So that's why I give you 10 minutes to do this because to train you to sketch very fast. You've got another five minutes, 30 seconds. Trust me, if you have these skills, uh, when you can do fast sketch, uh, when you do live sketch or whatever sketch, um, it will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. Uh, I will explain it later. Uh, this is just uh, it's an exercise. And then we see from here. Okay, uh, Izati asked me a question. Uh, mask color, you don't have to. Uh, ten, ten, uh, five marks for Izati. Uh, ask a question, a simple question. So, Izati, five marks. Don't have to color. Eh? I just want it. Uh, I need uh, just a black and white sketch. Just need because we don't have time to to do that. When ten minutes, you only have to to sketch with black and white. Don't worry much about the coloring. We'll do it later. Ah. How to draw, I'm sorry. At, at least you draw. No worries. At least you draw. IDK. How to draw, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. No worries. At least uh, I, we can understand that that is the streetscape. Then it's good. Uh, 10 minutes for the... Uh, who's this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, no worries. <laughs> Give yourself... Okay, no worries. Give yourself 10, 10 marks for that. Already submitting in the submitted on the padlet. Okay, anybody else? How many minutes that you have? Three minutes more to go. Trust me, eh? as a designer, you should be able to draw. You cannot, you should be able to freehand visualize your ideas. Don't just depend on your digital software and whatever but gadgets. Especially software. Don't depend on them. You have to depend on your hand to visualize your idea. Two minutes to go. Two minutes more to go. So... Anybody else already post? Uh, we wait for another one because we already we are we have about hundred participants here. I'm very sure at least I want to see at least fifty posted in this padlet. Hopefully, two minutes more to go.
one more minutes to go. One more minutes to go, one and a half, 90, 90 seconds. Uh, trust me on this, when you, uh, you are going to work after this, uh, when you meet a client, um, this is what you are going to face. When your client asks you, can you draw me this solution? Uh, so that is your challenge, right? So that's why it's very critical when you need you need to understand and master freehand sketch, especially in perspective. When your client asks you to draw straight away in front of him or her, so that is your challenge because you claim you are designers. Uh, that is another challenge. Okay. So, ah. Okay. Give yourself for those who already um, submitted here. So, give, give, give yourself 10 marks each. Okay, if you look carefully, uh, I'm not so sure you, you misposed this, uh, this, this uh, who's this guy uh, with a lot of emoticon? Um, how do I rotate this, uh, this picture? Or you can repost it again because your drawing is upside down. Hopefully, oh. Okay, no worries. Waiting for others to submit. I think we already finished. Uh, yeah, you got 50 seconds. Okay, 50 seconds to go. It's, it's crucial for a designer to know how to draw. And then there's another, another thing is uh, the instruction asks you to draw human eye view. Most of you draw bird's eye view. That's another challenge. No worries. This is your first time. If you look carefully, all the images given to us, just to me now, in Padlets. Okay, I think time time's up. Yeah, 20, sec 20 more seconds. No worries. 20 more seconds to go. Um, answer uh, on chat. Eh? Do you understand what is human eye view perspective? Do answer on chat. In chat. Do you understand what is human eye view perspective? Do you know what is human eye view perspective? If, if yes, type Y. If no, type N. At least I want to know. I want to know. Okay, Mandy, yes. Yes, everybody, yes. That means you know what is human eye view perspective. Okay, good. Uh, most of you say yes, then, then it's okay. Then I, ah, uh, Nur Fatiha said no. You are, okay. Some of you do, didn't do not know the, the, the thing. No worries, no worries. Okay. Mm, can we wait one, a few more uh, post, posting? Then we go to the second uh, discussion. Okay, eh? look carefully eh? look carefully on the instruction most of you said that you understand human eye view perspective but if you look carefully on the sketches given to us now on in on padlet now uh only how many eh? success doing that okay uh chinatown kl maybe uh, this is not human eye view this is bird's eye view hi I don't know who's his name. At least after this, when, when you want to post, give your name. Then it's much easier. We can we know who are you. Okay. This is hi, still not human eye view. Um, good morning, doctor. It's not human eye view. Um, everybody is not human eye view perspective. Except maybe, eh? except maybe 
No. No human eye view perspective at all. Ah, maybe, maybe, see, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, this guy, uh, not many know how to, yeah. Nobody uh, in human eye view. <laughs> that is another challenge. Okay, no worries. I I can understand your 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 issues. We we start we we continue to the next session. So give yourself for those who posted in Padlet, give yourself ten marks. Okay, we continue. Eh? Okay. This is the instruction. Can you freehand visualize? Just now is from your imagination, right? So now is from your is based on the plan given. Uh, this is the scenario where where when we go to an urban area, your lecturers or your client give you a map, and then he or she wants you to draw from that map, and then you were at the streetscape and then draw based on that map. Okay, so I explain it. Uh, this is two story high. This is three story, three T that, that means three story high, two T that means two story high. Okay. So you are in this area viewing this a this, this area, these streets, uh, with this view angle. Can you draw me that angle in one point in, in perspective setting, in human eye view perspective setting? Can you do that? 10 minutes from now. No worries, I will explain everything later just to give you some ex uh, experience uh, on this uh, agenda, urban sketch. This is what we normally do as a designer uh, to sketch in an in, in, in in urban area. Okay, Any, uh, this is the, the buildings. Eh? This is a building, two story high, two story high, and this is three story high. Okay, so I want you to draw me this view. Uh, if you have anything to ask, feel free to do so. Um, I'm here to hopefully can help you. If I can't answer that question, I try to do another more uh, some more research to answer that questions. If you have anything to ask related to this urban sketch.
uh, right after this, when you posted your your sketch, do 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 inform your name. Eh? At least your nickname. At least I can call not hi, not not emoticon. At least uh, give your nickname. I can call you nickname and then I can help you uh, in terms of your sketch. Okay. Anybody from Terengganu here? Anybody from Terengganu? Uh, do 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 inform me in chat. Anybody from Terengganu? From Pantai Timur? East Coast? Nobody. So most of you from from Penang or from KL? Most of you from? I'm from Penang. Oh, you're from Penang. Most of you from Penang or oh, Kedah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Wah, Chong from Sarawak. Amalina from Kelantan. So nobody from Terengganu. The reason why I asked if anybody from Terengganu, I'm from Terengganu actually. Okay, so, okay. Dim Sum supporter. <laughs> Siapa nama Dim Sum supporter ni? <laughs> It's okay. It's a very glamour name, uh, glamorous name. Dim Sum supporter. First time I heard the name. Good. Oh, oh. Mm, okay. I've got only four minutes, almost five minutes or four, four, forty, four minutes and forty seconds to go. Three minutes to go. For those who are using two uh, pencil, pencil, eh, uh, do 
do put pressure on your drawings, on your lines. Then it will appear nicely. Uh, but I, uh, because I saw some of your work here, you're afraid to, to put pressure on the lines. Like this one. Good, good morning, doctor. This one. You are afraid to, to put pressure. That means darken the line. Okay. No worries. No, don't, don't worry much about your skills because you are a young designer. Uh, it's okay not to be okay because you are a young designer, fresh graduates, uh, fresh uh, students. So no worries. At least you can draw like this. People understand. But of course, you don't achieve the, the, the objective just now. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay, two minutes and 44 seconds to go, 42 seconds to go. Okay, for those who are finished, feel free to, to post that uh, on, on Padlet. Okay. Uh, It's not one hour, it's not 10 minutes, it's here. Uh, 47 seconds to go. Waiting for you to post it on the Padlet. Come on guys, come on. Uh, she went, you look very confident. Good. Good. Where's your work? Uh, top of that. Nabil. Yeah, you are. Yeah, most of you are struggling to do this. No worries. At least you try. It's okay. Okay. Um, I need some more posting, and then we proceed to the next slides. Yeah. Okay. Most of you are struggling. No worries. It's okay. Okay. Can we proceed to the next level? Give yourself. For those who have posted the, the, the images, the sketch, uh, give yourself 10 marks and then we proceed to the next level. Okay, focus on me now. Don't worry much about your sketch. Now we are going to continue. Okay, uh, I'm going to explain this one first. Can you freehand visualize your imagery in urban sketch without any reference? Eh? Okay, now follow my steps. Uh, A4 paper, please. Okay, follow my steps. Okay, the first thing that you need to do when you do an urban sketch, you need to understand where, uh, whether your sketch will be human eye view, bird's eye view, or worm's eye view. Okay, so I will demonstrate what is bird's eye view, what is human eye view, what is uh, worm's eye view. Okay, draw like that. And then uh, draw like that, this the box. They divide them into three, like that. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one is we go we go for bird's eye view. So that is your horizon line. Oh, I'm I I I use the different line, different different pen. It's easier for you to observe. Okay. This follow. This is human eye. Uh, this is Horizon line, eh? This is human eye view. 
this is worm's eye view. Okay. This is bird's eye view. Uh, how do yeah, this one? Bird's, bird's eye view. This one, human eye view. Human eye view. This is worm. Worm's eye view. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, wait. To make life easier for everybody. Uh, this one, one box. Okay. This is another box. This is human eye view. And uh, this is worm's eye view. How do we decide bird's eye view, human's eye view, worm's eye view is based on the horizon line and also reference object. Remember that eh? once we want to decide, when we want to draw in urban area, we, we normally will draw based on human eye view. Unless you are on the top of the building, then you are looking uh, downwards, uh, looking down to the streets, then you draw from bird's eye view. But when you are in the street level, you are going to draw from you okay I, I i show you the difference okay how to get bird's eye view this is your this is your human scale that is your human scale okay when we draw something here okay this is a building for example there that is your vanishing point uh, this is bird's eye view why because why uh why it becomes like that the human reference this is human when we draw that somewhere there it looks very high so that is bird's eye view how do we determine bird's eye view because of this human figure so that is human a bird's eye view okay that is the building this is the building one story buildings and that is bird's eye view Okay, human eye view. How do we decide human eye view? This is your human figure. Uh, the hue, the the eye level is located at your eye. The horizon line is located at your eye level. Uh, this is human eye view. When I draw a building there, so setting your vanishing point somewhere there. So that is human eye view. Uh, the building is very low, but more or less, this is human eye view. Okay, street level. Okay, then, worm's eye view, this is you. Uh, this is you, that is the building, then that is your vanishing point. This one. So this is worm's eye view because we are looking exactly at the level of ground level. This is ground level. Ground level. Okay. So you know the difference now, eh? Okay, now we I'm going to explain to you on how to compose an urban streetscape. When people ask you to draw human eye view, you have to use this concept. Okay. So the first protocol, let us say that is, let us say eh, this is your A4, A4 paper. Uh, that is your A4 paper in landscape setting. Uh, this is landscape format. Uh, this is your A4. Okay. When people ask you to draw, human eye view oops sorry ah uh, human eye view so actually eye level the horizon line can be can can be here can be here it's 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 okay you can set your horizon line here or here or here but to determine the human eye view you 
uh, you need that this human figure which determine the human eye view. Okay, let us say we put that in the center. So this is your human reference there. Okay, so set your vanishing point there. Okay, let us say the height is 1.5 meter. The height of the human eye level uh, from the eye level to the, the ground line. This is the ground line. From the eye level to the ground line is 1.5 meter. So that means if you refer to this, we have about 3 meter high, 1.5 plus 1.5. So when we draw the line here, let us say that, that one. So this will be the three meter high of a building, this one. From here to here is three meter. So that is your column. That is your column representing the street level of a shop lot. Oh, sorry. It goes like that. So that is your shop lot of that area. So maybe there's another design. You can draw whatever design based on the observation. So that is the something like that. And then always refer to that line. So that will be the human eye level perspective setting. Am I too fast? Are you okay? If you are okay, say yes in okay. So Tan, I'll 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 make you as your F as a guide uh, guides. If you if you, if Tan is okay, everybody is okay. <laughs> it's much easier. Uh, and also Yishan. I'll I'll use you both of you as a reference. If you're both of you okay, then everybody's okay. Okay. So then once how to add? Uh, then you add one more buildings there. So another one more buildings there. I just want to ask you, what is the height of this building? The next building to this building. What is the height? There. What is the height? How do you determine? Okay, this is 1.5. So 1.5, another 1.5, another 1.5, another 1.5. That means six meter height of this. Okay, so then you draw another whatever that you like to draw. Maybe this is three, set of three, set of three, then you have a streetscape. You see, it's very easy, right? Yishan, are you okay? Yes. Uh, is it easy to draw now? I'm still drawing. You're still yeah. drawing. Okay, Tan, are you okay? I think okay, good. Okay. Chong, you okay, Chong? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, clear on my, uh, do you understand on my explanation? It's, it's very uh, clear. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, very easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Looking, it's clear, looking... but not really, e not very easy. <laughs> not really easy. No worries. This is your it first time. It looks easy. <laughs> uh, what year are you now? Chong, what year are you now? What, what year are you now? You're in first year or what? Second year? Uh, first year. First year. No worries, you're yeah. just in first year. At least you've got this concept earlier. Okay. Uh, okay, that is the answer for... Uh, of, of course, if you want to go more details, then you have to have this one, and then you have to have that one. And then to make it more details, you have to have that. This is the pathway, uh, this is a pathway, and then this is street, and then that's another pathway again. Then you can have, you see, the impact of that. Okay. Okay, so set up. Can we proceed? Uh, that is the first answer for slide number one. Slide number two, I will answer, I will answer it later. Okay, we continue. Yeah, looking at your work, uh, you still struggling to to do that. No worries. Uh, we continue later. I'll give you some more, uh, a lot more exercise after this. Okay, next. Uh, 
uh, this is the examples of sketches that you need it, it, but this one is uh, let us say in urban area located somewhere in landscape urban landscape uh, pocket uh, uh, apa? Uh, urban pocket park uh, maybe so of course you don't have time to do this uh, this is a uh, heavy rendering uh, maybe it will take you sometimes about maybe 40 minutes to do this uh, no worries at least this is the quality that we are looking for looking at if you want to to be good in your urban sketch okay no worries though you are in the first year or second year no worries uh, at least you try and then after this do practice do practice okay um the first question that you need to ask when you are talking about um, urban landscape why sketch not photo uh, that is another question right you everybody got smartphone now uh, go to the the streetscape and then just snap a pictures uh, stack many pictures if you want okay the difference between sketches and photos uh, this is the answer photos got many lines uh, sketches got lesser lines why do we need sketches in urban area because sketches can help us to understand certain components of that urban area because it reduces the lines that we don't want to see. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Okay, this is a photo. You can, you can see many things, right? But when you look at these sketches, you can understand your eyes is focusing on certain eight, certain subject matters. Uh, so that is the objective why we need to do sketch in urban area or in whatever, in design, that's why the reason why we need to do sketch is to simplify the components that we want to see and then uh, then uh, put away the components that we don't want to see we want we don't want to describe uh, so that is the objective of ske urban sketch okay any questions before i proceed to the next step the next slides no questions any questions Okay. Okay, next. Okay, why sketch not photo? Uh, fast technique to record visual information. Okay, ability to simplify visual information. Okay, why we need sketch is to simplify the information. So you need to uh, be clear on this. Uh, when you do urban sketch, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, young designers misunderstood the reason why we need to sketch. Uh, when I ask them, why do you need to sketch in urban area? Uh, because to fulfill the requirement of the assignment is wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, you don't do sketch for to fulfill the assignment. No. Nope. You do sketch in urban area, as I mentioned before, is to visualize your ideas that you want to uh, portray, that you want to explain. Okay? Any question on this? Are you okay? Clear? So we continue. Next. Ah, there's two types. There's types of urban sketches. One is in 2D, another one is in 3D. Okay, 2D is for like two-dimensional, like plan, section, elevation, and that is in 2D. Okay, urban sketch got two types. One is in 2D and another one in 3D. Okay, any question on this? Are you okay? You're familiar with the, the, the terms? One is plan, another one is sections, and then another one is elevation. Okay, eh? Tan, you familiar with the, this, these uh, terms? You, you've yeah. learned already, right? Yes. Plan, section, and elevation. Okay. Yeah. So the 2D will be plan, section, and elevation. That is for urban sketch. The next one is in 3D. 3D can become, uh, 3D uh, urban sketch can be axonometrics. You know what is axonometrics? Axono, uh, isometrics, and also perspective. Okay. Normally, uh, when we do urban sketch, we do it in, we, we, we sketch them in perspective. So this is a sample, sample of urban sketch. 
Okay, sample number one is fast catch, really fast catch. It will take me about maybe one minute or two minutes to produce this. Okay, really fast catch, this, the color one. Okay, the second one uh, will take me some time to produce because it got lots of lines there. But when you, when you refer to this, the, the bottom left, uh, it will take me some time because they need some details on that. Okay, then you refer to the right bottom, uh, bottom right. Uh, this one will take you maybe 45 minutes or one hour to compose this. Okay, this is my sketch. Okay, this is my sketches. So always remember in urban sketch, there's two types of sketches. One is two, two, two dimension. Another one is three dimension. Okay, continue. Okay, this is my work. Okay, when I was... Student, when I was a student like you before, um, I did this when I was uh, a master student in Edinburgh College of Art, Scotland. Um, this is the assignment given to me that they want me to, to follow a trail, an urban trail. We call it urban trail. Urban trail means that we've been given a plan, uh, a city plan. They ask us to follow the, the trail and then sketch from the trail and then experience the, the spaces, okay? So how do I explain? They don't, they don't tell me how to explain. Eh? They don't tell me how to explain. So I need to find a way to explain to them how I feel when I reach to a certain spaces. So what I, what I did was, I'm using plan. If you refer, I'll, I'll give you the detail one. Uh, I, I'm using, I'm using I, I use plan. I use a thumbnail sketch perspective. And I use um, a section to explain the overall spaces that I experience. Okay, so that is uh, why urban sketch is very important. Okay, we continue. Okay, before I continue, any questions? If you want to ask, okay, these two types of plan. One is uh, in urban area, another one is uh, in Edinburgh Botanical Garden. Uh, same goes, eh? same goes. Although you are dealing with landscape you still have to have plan, section, and also a perspective to explain the quality of spaces over there. Okay, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, we to continue, we continue. Uh, this is an example. I want to explain, if you refer to the maps, uh, if you, uh, the, the maps is not very clear, no, uh, no worries about that. You can see the, the circle, the circle, eh? The, the four circles is the, the points, the station point where I stop and I sketch to explain the, 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 the journey. Okay, uh, this one I'm using, uh, if you refer to the cursor, I'm using section to explain the size of the space. A simple section like this. Do I have to draw details? No, nope, I don't have to draw details. But I'm not, I don't have to draw very details of that, uh, the detailed section because I just want to explain a conceptual of that space. So I'm using a simple section like that. And then I'm using this human figure, the red one, to show the, the space is very big, very huge. And then I'm using perspective is to show the space. Uh, by all means, I can, I can take pictures, right? I can take pictures, right? The reason why I don't take pictures because I want to share with them the quality of space and then I reduce all the lines that I want, I don't want them to see. So that's why I'm using perspective sketch to show the space. Okay, next, um, I'm also using plan. If you refer to this, the, the cursor, I'm using plan to explain the narrowness of the space. And then I'm using perspective to show that quality of that space okay so that is the use of urban sketches we continue but the challenge is how to produce that right easy to see but hard to draw right easy for you to see this thing this thing but hard for you to draw no worries because you are in okay next is the this one, a simple section like this, 
okay, a simple section like this can explain the quality of space that you wrote, uh, you go through. You went through, sorry, you went through. Okay, this, you can read the section. Eh? Uh, we are in the tunnel. This one, we are a very tall building that open up to the skylight, to the sky. And this one is a very narrow space. Then you can feel the narrowness of that space. I see the, the wonders of the, our ability to sketch and then using methods, types of urban sketch to explain our ideas. Okay. If you refer to this sketch and that sketch, very simple. Uh, this one for what? And then this one. This one is we want to explain a detail of that space. This one we want to reduce the quality, the, the, we want to explain the space in a simplest way. So that's why you can see the two types of perspective sketches. We continue. Same goes to landscape setting. Um, same goes. You may use the same concept, plan, section, and also perspective to explain your urban spaces. Same goes. Okay. Uh, this is another project that I did when I was a student like you before. Uh, you know, yeah. So I have another sketches. Uh, I can't find that one when I was in first year like you before. Uh, this is when I was in doing my master. This is the sketches that we do, that we did to explain that urban spaces. Uh, this is perspective, exono, simple sketch. Okay. Continue again. Uh, this is uh, another project that I did. Mm, this is my final project. Uh, you see uh, the combinations of photos, section, and plan to explain the quality of the urban spaces. You see, you need to be very creative and innovative to use these three types, these two types of urban sketch, urban sketches to explain your ideas. Okay. Any more, any questions? Uh, I give you any questions if you want to ask. You don't have any questions. No question at all. Okay, good. Okay. Continue. Um, using only plan and simple section like this to explain uh, the quality of spaces of a, a urban sketch. If you notice at the master plan, I'm using black to explain the solid and then white to explain the uh, void. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one, solid may represent the building or solid area, solid area, solid uh, items. And then you can see the white one will be the uh, void. Not white, this one. The area that I'm using black is to highlight my area of study. And then the white here is to explain the void which, uh, which were there in the, the spaces in the area. Uh, same goes, a simple section like that, a plan, and then photos to explain our ideas of urban sketch, urban area. Okay, continue. Okay, this is how I draw, okay? Okay, what is the first protocol that I do, always do? What is the first protocol? Ah, Tan, what is the first protocol? Horizon line, good. I know, I know you got 10 marks for that. Uh, horizon line, yes. And then what's next? If you refer to this drawing. After horizon line, we set the vanishing point. Okay, we set the vanishing point. Okay, what view are we looking at this? Uh, looking at what view? Yeah, bird's eye view, Tan, you got uh, those who answer bird's eye view, give yourself uh, 10 marks. Okay, 
Okay, this is bird's eye view perspective of urban area. Imaginary uh, imaginations of uh, streetscape <laughs> uh, is not exist in anywhere. It exists on my mind. Uh, hundred percent based on imagination. Uh, this is we call it multi-point perspective, not one point perspective. This is multi-point perspective. Okay, and then um, do remember this. Eh? When you are in a, in an urban area, normally you are dealing with levels. If you refer to this sketch, they have lot. They've got a lot of levels. Okay, you can refer to this. It's going up. And then flat going down, and then after this is up again. Okay, if you want to if you want to find these sketches, you go to Mianza channel YouTube. All right. Um, channel now you go to Mianza channel that is my channel you will find this video okay when you want to do live sketch do you notice that my paper stay stay still and then the pen is moving okay do that uh, take that as your discipline okay don't 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 move your paper fix your paper but your hand being to sketch same goes to when you were in a urban your life sketch you cannot move your sketchbook your sketchbook will be you will hold your sketchbook like this uh, let us say this is your sketchbook you will hold your sketchbook like that like this so then you draw your your sketch cannot go like that you you your sketch your sketchbook is there okay when you do live sketch that's why i train everybody not to move the paper to orient orient the paper to, or, to to rotate the paper but to move your pen or your 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 pencil things when you do urban sketch you have to remember the depths of certain element for example if you refer to this window there's a two lines here one line there because why this is representing the depths of the wall so you always remember that when you want to sketch always remember the depths then it will be interesting uh, your sketch will be in uh, looks very interesting so most of the students fail to do that. It, it's not your fault because you are, you don't discipline yourself to do that. So you need to discipline yourself to do that. This, this, uh, these two double lines there, one there. You need to understand uh, the positions of the window. I'll explain it later after this, just to give you some ideas on the urban sketch. So you can see that the town is uh, have a street that going up to the going up the hill, and then you can see that after that here, you can see when they go up then go down again. Uh, so how you want to settle that one? So that you need to understand that also. Uh, this is what we call it advanced perspective knowledge. Uh, uh, we don't. It took uh, okay. Trust me on this. Eh? It took me about fourteen weeks. To train only back uh, 14 weeks, uh, two hours a week, uh, two hours a day, uh, 14 days to train uh, basic perspective knowledge. Okay, 
So this one is just for you to give you an awareness on how to do a perspective drawings. If you want to really learn about perspective, it will take you maybe 14 days with me for two hours per session to master level one. That means a, a level beginner. So can you imagine if you stay with me, then I'll start with start with the beginning, uh, with the with the basic one, the fundamental one, and then continue with the advanced. This is the most advanced uh, perspective. Um, if you ask me how to get this one, uh, you need to have that skill first, the fundamental skills first, right? Then you can have this composition later. Uh, feel free to ask any question that you want to ask. If you want to, yeah, to clarify something about this. Uh, this is, of course, it's a multi-point perspective, human eye, uh, bird's eye view. There was okay. Always remember when you do urban sketch, put human figure, put human figure on that sketch. Then it will make the town lively. Or if not, it's a ghost town. Okay. Always remember to put human figure. Vehicle is okay if you want to put. If you don't want to put, it's okay. But at least you have human figure. Okay. Next, uh, area view sketch. This is bird's eye view using one point perspective. Plan view. Uh, that is the building. How can the determine to know where is the vanishing point? Okay, I will explain later. Good, good questions. Uh, give yourself ten marks. Uh, yeah, I will do that. I will explain it later. Oh, okay. Where is the vanishing point for every? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for your information, to ask that question, Hafiz, you refer to my previous uh, video just now. Actually, all the vanishing point is located at the horizon line. All the vanishing point is located along the horizon line. It cannot be uh, except for the road and also for the ramp. But buildings will relate to all the uh, will, will located at the horizon line. Um, I will explain later. So this is a uh, uh, plan view. So you also can explain your 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 urban sketch using plan view, but it's not logical. It's not logic. Why? Because you are human. When you do urban sketch, you stay in the human eye level. Then how can you can how can you fly? Except you are on in a in a tall building. Still, you cannot do this. Although you are in a tall building, you cannot do this because why? When you are sitting on the top of a, a, an area, your your view will look like my first sketch just now, the first video. You cannot draw like this. You need a drone to do this. Uh, so it's not logical for you to draw urban sketch using this. Better take pictures uh, for area view like this. Okay, no use for you to draw. No use unless you want to show something special that uh, pictures cannot explain, and then it's okay. But still, you you need to refer to aerial photo. Okay, understood? Eh? Uh, understand? Uh, you need to re refer to aerial photo. And then draw from the array photo. Just trace the array photo. Don't have to redraw. Don't have you just trace the array photo. 
because you want to reduce the lines and then you want to show something out of that. Then if I can make it faster, it goes like that. Then you can fill the space. And you know that there's a river flowing through the buildings and then there's a high rise, there's a park, maybe small parks there. So that is interesting about Urban Sketch. Okay, next one. So that is the final products. We continue. So last video. Uh, this is a standard human eye view perspective that we, we need to do. We always do. We always use to explain our ideas in urban area, uh, uh, human eye level. Uh, this is a uh, this is two point perspective because you can see only two vanishing points. Unless there's another vanishing point come in, it become multi point perspective. So this is two point perspective. Okay, do you notice? What, uh, the first protocol, I use horizon line. The second one is vanishing point. And then the third one is to set up everything first. This one, to draw the framework, the frame, wire frame of those objects that will be in our sketch. And then start putting details one by one. Once you, the setting for every, for every, for that, that sketch setup, then you start putting the details. So uh, always remember this, you set the horizon line, do the macro setting. Macro, that means uh, the bigger setting. And then slowly you detail the micro setting. I, what I did now, what I do in this video. Okay, now I slowly detail, put details on every single inches of that build at this area. Okay, and always remember, eh, when you do anything related to your perspective, always refer to these two vanishing points. Uh, except for the, that one, the curve, the curve road, uh, there's another vanishing point. Okay, to make it faster. So it goes like that. Come like that. Continue. 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 Okay, this is, uh, if you refer to this, it's not a two-point perspective, it's a multi-point perspective because there's a lot of uh, many objects over there which are not parallel with each other. Okay. Okay, I stop here. Any questions? 
cat or risau no worries this is your first time looking at the detailed sketches like this uh, after this i will show you the step by step process of doing these things okay any questions before i start moving to the next slides and we, we are going to start drawing after this any questions no questions okay good so it seems that everybody understand very understood very well the explanation then it's good because you don't have any questions how to do urban sketches okay there's two types of sketches sketching from observation sketching from imagination uh, there's two types eh, in urban sketch one is sketching from your observation another one is sketching from your imagination okay so what is that how to sketch okay sketches from observation that means that you go to the site and you draw from that site uh, that is we call it sketching from the observation okay so a4 paper please we are going to sketch this a uh, live sketch Okay, what do you need to do when you do live sketch like this? So we assume that we are at the area of this space. We are, I'm not sure where we are. Uh, I take this from an internet. The source, the images are from the internet. Okay, uh, how do we start? Okay, so let us say you use pencil. So, okay, imagine uh, you are standing in, uh, in this area. You are standing, this is you. This is you standing to draw this area how to start okay let us say uh okay this is the your sketch your sketch book okay this is your sketchbook this is the you are i can draw you here you are standing somewhere there looking towards this view to draw that view how to start okay first this is the first first protocol that you need to follow identify horizon line eye level where is your eye level okay if you refer to this uh, this is your eye level uh, okay that is your eye level okay okay yeah. or maybe uh, this is a little bit higher maybe somewhere there uh, that is your eye level how do i know okay yeah. if you refer to this line this one is like that this line is straight. Uh, this one is going like that. Okay, so your eye level is somewhere there. Uh, that is your eye level. Okay, the first protocol is to set the eye level. Then, okay, this is your sketchbook. Eh? This is your sketchbook. Okay, follow me. Eh? Follow me. Step one, horizon line. Uh, assume this is your sketchbook. Eh? Assume that is this is your sketchbook. Uh, that is your horizon line. Okay, what's next? next is to determine the height of this area ah. okay do you do you know that uh, to use this uh, to use this pencil that height do you know what the concept of doing this uh, like that to get the 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 scale the proportions of that area so uh, let us say you use this technique the pen okay then this is one one pen two pen this is one pen so this this one okay that is one pen a uh, two pen this is one pen so you go that from here this is two pen this is one pen uh, so that is the strategy that means the, the concept of this for shortening okay this one you straighten your your hand and then you you measure from your eye then this is one pen for example so this is one pen uh, two pen this is one pen so one pen two pen okay next how many pens from here to here one 
two, two pen. So that means one, two, two pen. And then what is how many pens from there? Half. Somewhere there. So then you, you will get your lines there. And same goes there. Then you will get your line there. Okay, that is the strategy when you want to do a uh, live sketch. I will do some alteration of that. So that will be like that. Okay. What I mean is one pen. Uh, have you heard a sh the shortening concept, foreshortening concept? Do you know what is a foreshortening concept? You use your hand and then you measure with your eyes. Okay, that is one pen. So that means this is one pen. This is another pen. There's another one pen. So that is three pen. From there, you measure like that. Oh, uh, like that, like this. Sorry. You can see the, the pen. Uh, you measure the pen uh, on horizontal area. Like. So this one, one pen. This is two pen. So that is the, this line. So it goes that line. Okay. From there, you measure this is one pen. This is half pen. This is another one pen. Or maybe you get that point and then you join this line. And same goes to that. Okay. Now you have the overall compositions of that area. Then whatever, then from there, you just extend this one, extend that one. Okay, next is to draw this line. To draw this line. How, how do we measure? This is, remember, just now, this is another one pen and half. Uh, one pen and half. So this one, somewhere there, maybe. We take that one. One pen and one pen like that. And then you join that line. Uh, so that is the way we do sketch. Okay, set the set the overall, the macro setting first. Set the macro setting first. And then continue up, continue up. Just a reference there. Okay, then next is this one. And now you start putting your, 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 the detail part. Okay. So this one goes like that. This one goes like that. Ah, and then just continue. Always refer, eh? this one, this line, eh? this line, this line actually goes somewhere there. It goes somewhere there. It will meet somewhere there. So once you want to draw this, you have to refer to that line. Uh, so that is your, this one. And then put that down. Uh, then settle with the. Okay. Again, uh, I explain. Okay. That maybe I'll check the chat first. Uh, Tan, are you okay with the screen? Is it lagging? Shan? Just now got lag a bit. Huh? But, but now it's okay, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Tan asks how to train ourselves to draw a straight line. Simple, train yourself again and again and again and again. I'm very sure you'll get the, that straight line. Okay, there's no straight, there's no shortcut. You need to train yourself. And then... Uh, how to get a straight line? Of course, you need to master your eyes and your hand. And then how to do that? Practice the, uh, you have the horizontal line exercise and vertical line exercise. This is to answer Chan, uh, Tan questions. Uh, when you were in last master, do you have a straight line exercise, horizontal exercise and vertical exercise? This exercise. You have this exercise, uh, do this. Vertical, do that. Uh, do this until you are familiar with, uh, you are okay with the straight line or vertical and horizontal line. Okay, what's next? 
once you have that then you have to set the the chair and the table so how do how how do we do that then we guess uh, this is the strategy then we guess so it goes somewhere somewhere there then go somewhere there more or less because we already have the point to refer then we refer that line okay then it, it finished somewhere there so then i refer back to that so that is the area of the chair and the table somewhere there uh, so the strategy do this box as your reference something like that the reason why you need to, to do that box is to control the compositions of these two these chairs uh, so that's why it's important to you know that in this box we'll have this one two three four chairs okay then what's next then you draw that chair based on your observation just seem, it doesn't have to be accurate but at least more or less the same like uh, more or less you know it will end somewhere there more or less it goes like that there's another table somewhere there there's another chair another chair somewhere there so then you will see that uh, something like that now you can see eh, the, the more or less the same so always remember when you want to to do this you have to draw that box to guard to control where you want to draw uh, where is the object that you want to draw on the on the paper okay then what's next then you start calculating the this portion one two three four five six seven eight nine so more or less one two three four five six seven eight nine more or less okay just guess just guess uh, just proportion that with your uh, composition uh sekejap eh uh, wait i have something Okay. Okay, what's next? And then continue with the uh with this one with the roof. Okay, then you know that from here to here, you know. Then you draw based on that line, then you go up. Then you have the always refer to this point because you already have that vanishing point there. Always refer to that point, then you will have that roof something like that more or less it's on top sorry it's supposed to be on top uh, my my mistakes it goes like that there's another one there so it goes like that so more or less something like that okay how how do we get the distance you know that the size of these uh, okay you know this is one pen to, to have another that is the height that you just transfer that uh, that will be the length of this area and then you just refer to this point then you will get that roof so next is to draw the details then you go for that and then start putting the whatever on the and then we finish and then if you want to put human figure there then you have that People are standing there. Maybe there's a. Uh, okay, then this is you looking through that, that area. Okay. Any questions from that? Are you okay?
Any question? No question? So far so good? Okay. So that is how we do live sketch. Okay. We take another examples. Okay. We take another examples. Ah, this one. Okay. Can you just, uh, once you finish that, once you finish that, I just want to have this. This is the, the sketch that I want to produce. A simple rough sketch. This is what we call a simple rough sketch. Fast sketch. Okay. Can you post it on your padlet? Can you post it on the on the padlet now? I want to see this. The output of the sketch. Can you some, somebody post it on padlet now? Okay, I give you some time to explore. Give you some time to explore. Maybe this one should supposed to go like, yeah, maybe a little bit higher. So it goes like that. Then this one supposed to be this, uh, supposed to be goes like that, more or less. It cannot be higher than this, it's supposed to. Okay, this is the types of fast catch that you need to do on site doesn't have to be very detailed. If you have time, then by all means, you do very details. But if you don't have time, this is the one that you need to draw. Okay, then what you need to do after this? So then explain. Uh, this lady uh, is having her coffee. Just put note some ideas on what happened to that, that scenario. Uh, this one, interesting details, detailing. Uh, this one, you may put a uh, made of glass, made of glass. Uh, maybe this one, you draw like that, then you put notes on that. Um, interesting character. to the street. Ah, uh, uh, This is the thing that you need to do to enhance your understandings to that space. That's why sketches needed when we want to understand something, when we want to explain our ideas. Okay, so you should put notes like this, small, small notes like this on your urban sketch. Okay, some people are, some people feel, feel uh, not not happy to to do like that. It's okay, but this is what we do. That I always did when I went to when I have an urban urban projects. This is what I always did. Do some uh, notes to to remind me of something happened on that spaces. Okay. Um, or you want to have a protocol of right writing this up it's okay you you want to have a discipline where every every notes you can put somewhere there it's okay in whatever uh, format that you want to use it's okay as long you are comfortable with that format some people like to write notes here notes um, we need to revisit again interesting concept ah just a note to explain the the spaces. Just a note. Okay. Okay. If you are okay, uh, everybody, please uh, say yes. Why in chat note chats now? Just to give you, just to just to confirm that you are okay. Everybody can answer yes, everybody yes, okay. So far so good, eh? Okay, okay, we continue. Next is, I'm going to draw, this is what we call one point perspective setting in urban area. Normally, to be to, to make life easier for everybody, use this technique. Take, uh, normally in urban area, uh, seldom we find multi-point, unless, uh, no, seldom we use uh, two point. 
normally we use one, one point in urban streetscape because normally a street is located in one row so that's why we always use one point perspective uh, same goes to this example same goes to the example is one point or two point uh, this is two point perspective setting this one is uh we it looks like one point perspective actually it's two point perspective this one i'll explain it later uh, uh or i explain it now so everybody can understand it properly okay why i said this is two point perspective it looks right but this is two point perspective i explain it now so this is the line so that is the 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 streets that we draw okay when it comes to this angle we don't draw that straight line we have to have that line so that is and that is that why we call it two point perspective because we need to have another vanishing point somewhere okay uh, that's why this picture is not one point perspective this is two point perspective ref referring to this line because this line it goes something like that uh, so that's why this one is two point perspective not one point perspective same goes to uh, the explanation is like this this is one uh, this is two point perspective because of this angle the detailed part of that area this one they refer goes like that it goes like that so that's why we call it two point perspective setting okay uh, we continue to the next one. Oh, time moves very fast. It's already 11.38. I've got many more to show. No worries. Okay, what's next? This is what we call. How do we notice this? is? How do we know that it's two-point perspective? How do we know? Okay, this one. This one and that one. Okay, if I refer, if I draw... Okay, now I have to find my horizon line. Uh, that is my horizon line. That is my horizon line. This one. I determine that is my horizon line. Or how to determine the horizon line? You can refer to that. It goes somewhere there. So this one, it goes somewhere there. Uh, so that, yeah, that is your horizon line. Okay, how to compose this one? Follow that steps. This is the straight line okay from here it's how many how many pens from here one pen two pen one pen two pen okay so this one from here how many pen one two three four four pen one two three four that is four pen okay what is the height of this area one okay this is one pen eh? this is one pen so refer back that is more or less quarter three quarters somewhere there so then what you need to do is to bring this line in something like that ah to follow that one okay then from there Okay, this one goes like that. Oh, sorry, my mistakes. It goes like this. Uh, it goes like that. And then continue. And then bring that line in. Uh, take the, find the what? The main component first. Uh, find the main component first. More or less something like that. Just draw the main component. Don't worry much about uh, the ah so goes like that okay where's the, the this one somewhere there box it up first uh, it goes like that uh, this is the area that you need to draw until that portion uh, that is the, the box uh, box that first that is the eating area so you know that your composition is right so do the macro setting first do the macro setting first and then something like that and then it goes up more or less we don't have time here so just bring that up 
bring that up more or less. That is the plus. Uh, that is the eating area. Okay. That is how we compose a urban sketch. Find a macro setting first. Get a macro setting first, right? And then go. you go for micro. And then this table, you just draw that table somewhere there, more or less. There. Then you will get the composition, right? Okay, once you are able to do that, then just as, as usual, point up whatever drawings that you are going to highlight. And then put notes, put notes, put notes on whatever. And then maybe you have notes there talking about your sketch area. Oh, sorry, you can see. Okay. Okay, so that is for live sketch. Always remember first protocol, horizon line. The second protocol, find the, the macro setting. Once you got the micro setting, the macro setting and then you start slowly put the micro setting okay uh chong i think you may you looks you looks understand understood the the process is it is it right chong yeah 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 i, I know that it will take you some time to do this uh but this is this is the process that you need to go through Okay. Yeah. Understand. Okay. Set, settle about settle about the live sketch. We proceed to the next one. Ah yes. Now you can have a uh, okay. If you look, look at the padlet, ah uh, now I'm very happy to see that you are on the human eye figure drawings. Ah uh, that. It is your first time do, knowing this. Knowing this. Uh, this process, this technique. Okay, now we are moving towards another session. How to sketch from imagination? Uh, that is our challenge. How to sketch from the imagination? Why I, I want to train you on this uh, thoroughly compared to live sketch just now because live sketch is, is about transferring that data, live data to your uh, sketchbook, right? But now, let us say you already designed something on that area. Then you need to highlight that design because that, that, that one is not, not really exist yet, right? So you need to know how to sketch from your imagination, how to do that. Okay. Okay, this is the... Oh, sorry. Okay, this is the, let us say, eh, this is existing building. This is the existing building. This is, this building will be your proposal somewhere there. Okay? Or this row is your proposal. This is, uh, before this is just, just an empty space. Then you are, you are given a plot of area to design this curve building so you need to imagine what happened to this building so that's why we also call it urban sketch okay this is from your imagination and then you 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 compose it to explain your 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 design ideas how to start we focus on the a view first okay um the a view okay what is the first protocol that you need to do the first protocol Uh, horizon line that is the first protocol okay what's next what's next After... vanishing point. nope it's not vanishing point it's human figure okay you have to understand you have to set the human figure first so that is your human figure because this one will become your reference object your reference point a reference object sorry this one Reference object to determine the proportions of that area. To determine the proportions of that area. Okay. 
let us uh, let us assume eh, let us assume this one is one meter this one is three meter this is one meter ah let us assume although it's not logic but we assume okay we assume because it's just a matter of exercise okay so you need to you need to have how many meters five meters from here to here is five meter one meter three meter one meter can you see the the my 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 numbers one meter three meters and one meter okay so how to set that one we assume that 1.5 1.5 1.5 1 so you don't have enough space on that right no worries about that okay so you need five meters so how to set that okay first you need to know the vanishing point is located where is it is located okay if you refer if i just turn it, this paper eh, round one so the vanishing point is located at let us assume this is two meter two meter away from five meter okay eh? we assume two meter away from five meter how do we decide uh, uh, that, that is the this the what the facts that we need to do so okay this is what 1.5 1.5 this is 1.5 another 1.5 outside the box there so that is uh, one meter uh, outside this one so it's located one two meter so that is the vanishing point uh, I I have to draw it smaller. No worries. Okay. Eh? Let us say, assume this one, make it smaller to make life easier for everybody. Okay. This is 1.5. 1.5. Here. From here to here is 1.5. This is 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter plus 1 meter. Ah, that is 1 meter. Uh, sorry. This is 0 0.5 to get 5 meter. So this is 1.5. Eh? 1.5 meter, 1.5 meter, 1.5 meter. So we need about 5 meter, right? So plus 0 0.5 meter. Okay. So the vanishing point is located 2 meters away. 2 meters away from the street, uh, from this area. So 1 meter, uh, this one. So the vanishing point is located somewhere there. So then you just bring that in. So that is one meter for the pathway. Okay, that is your vanishing point. You are standing somewhere there, looking towards that building. So that is your five meter. This is 1.5, one meter. That is your pathway. Uh, that is your three meter uh, strip. Okay, then what's next? you on your left on your on your right on your right there's two meter two meter high building so how do you want to decide that 1.5 and another 1.5 that's three meter six meter so that is will be your two story high buildings on your right hand side and on your left hand side is three meter high buildings so a uh, three story high one uh, one story two story and three story so that will be your three story building so it should looks like this in your perspective it should looks like that more or less So your perspective should look like this. Okay, eh? again, eh? I explain again, no worries. I explain again for everybody to understand this process. Okay. Okay, let us see. Eh? Let us see. We we, we change the, the view. Uh, wait. I trace it back, then we 
turn it around to make everybody understand the process. This one. So this will be, uh, if you refer to that one, this one will be, uh, so that is one meter there. So the view is somewhere there. A view. So this is 2T, two, 2T, two 2T. Two two this is 3T. This is 3T. This is 3T. Okay, I changed the, the, it's easier for you to understand. Okay. So this is your horizon line again. Eh? That is your horizon line. Okay, next is your human figure. Your reference. Human figure reference your reference okay from here to here is 1.5 meter okay and then you need to have five meter because why from here this is one meter this is three meter this is one meter okay so you need 1.5 1.5 another 1.5 plus 0 0.5 to complete the five meter there to complete the five meter. So you divide them into three to get one meter to three, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This is one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter, and one meter. So this is one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter, and one meter. Okay. Now I'm doing this area, this area. Okay. So how to set the vanishing point? The vanishing point is two meter away from the right. Two meter away from the right. One meter, one meter. So two meter away from the right, that is your vanishing point. Now that is how we set our vanishing point. Okay, you refer to the plan. You refer to the plan. This is one meter away. One meter, two meter. So one meter away, two meter away from this. And then that is your vanishing point. And bring that up, uh, link that one. This is your pathway. So that is your, that is your pathway, more or less. Ah, uh, sorry, that is your pathway. Ah. Uh. Okay, then make it thicker. That is your the height of your pathway. There's a the there's a what drop. Okay, now this is two. Two meter, uh, two story high. So we 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 set three meter, uh, one floor. So that means this is one point five plus one point five. So that is one one floor. So another three meters. That is two floor. So this one you bring that up, you bring that in, then you have the two story high building there. Okay, next, this one, how to get the three meter, the three story high, 1.5 plus 1.5, that is one story. Uh, normally, the height of a floor depending, normally the five meter, that's 4.5, that's three meter. So I decided this building is three meter uh, height from ground level to uh, sec first floor. So this is three meter, and then plus another, Three meter plus another three meter to get the, the the floor height. So that will be your. So that is the three story high building there. This is the two story high building there. So where are you standing? You are standing somewhere there, looking towards the view. Okay, any more, any questions? Any questions? Tan, are you okay? Do you understand the process? It's straightforward question. It's, it's a straightforward answer, right? Yeah. To this. Okay. This is one way to do the sketch, one way. There's another way to do this. But that one is not really accurate, but you may try if you want to compose based on this. Uh, this strategy okay i show you i'll show you the process okay assume you remember that that plan you may start with horizon line okay then 
straight away this is your human figure you decide this is one meter you decide this is already one meter this is three meter this is one meter you decide you don't have to to draw like uh, the detail part like that you decide this is one meter because why from here to here is 1.5 you know 1.5 so divide them into three more or less that is one meter so you transform that is one meter that is three meter that is one meter okay the vanishing point is two meter away more or less you divide them into three that is the vanishing point so then you just bring that in bring that in and in and this one goes like that so that will be the simplest yeah the simplest way but at least uh you need to know eh? you need to know this human uh, this reference object you need to know the reference object and then from there this is two one meter that is two meter uh, that is two story high this is three one uh, one floor another floor another floor so same goes it's much faster to do like this but you need to understand the proportion of this human figure compared to that. And same goes, you can. Anybody? No questions? Okay, if you have no question, then can we proceed to the next level? Okay, come, kita go for the next level. Okay, we proceed to the next level. Okay, how to draw the curve area? This one. This one. Oh, sorry. Uh, how to draw this curve? Wait, wait. Share screen. Okay, how to draw this curve area? This one. Uh, how do we start? First, Standard, we go uh, a standard protocol. First, horizon line. Okay, follow my steps. Horizon line. Okay, what's next? What's next? Human figure. Human figure. Okay, then what's next? Management. Yeah, of course, where to set the vanishing point? <laughs> okay, where to set the vanishing point? How to set the vanishing point? Okay, if the scenario like this, what you need to do is, take this one, do like this. Uh, draw a box like that. Ah. Uh. If you come across with this scenario, draw like this. Okay. Okay. So your view is, let us say, eh, it's like that. If you come to this scenario, draw like this, draw like this, draw this box as your reference. Okay. By looking at this, it will be 
two point perspective. It will be two point perspective. So, so where to start? You may cross this line. So you, this one, you cross that line. Ah, huh. as your reference. Okay, then you con that one, you go like that. Okay, so to curve that line, you okay, then you extend, eh? you extend this to that. Uh, so that is your box. You see the red box? Oh, sorry. The, this is the red box. That is the red box. Okay, then what's next? Bring that box up. Uh, this is four story high. Uh, is two four story. Yeah? This is one uh, one point one one story, two story, three story, and four story. Uh, that is your four story building. Then bring that up. Okay, this one bring that up. This one you bring that up. Uh, that is a four story building. Just for your reference. Okay, what's next? You curve this point. Uh, curve. It goes like that. So that one, of course, you can't see because it's on top of that. But you can see the curve, this curve line. You can see this curve line. Okay, then you bring that up. So that is your shop lot. So how many meters? Uh, this is goes like that. This one goes like that. This one goes like that. Uh, so that is that is your curve building. Okay. So that is how. First, uh, 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 again, uh, explain. Uh, one horizon line, and then you draw this the 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 box there as your reference, and then you curve this one. That one you curve this one. Uh, that is the 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 buildings. And then it goes up, of course, and then it goes up like that. This one, that one, and that one. Uh, that is how we get the view right in perspective like this. Okay, always remember to draw the box. Okay, again, eh, I explain further. Okay, I give you another example. Horizon line. Okay, draw the box, something like that, more or less. Uh, that is the box. And then, okay, let us assume that that, that high. We go like that and bring that line in. Okay, that is the box. Okay, so that is your human figure there. So that is the building. A one story building, one story curve buildings. So that is the columns. Something like that. So of course lah, that is will be, uh, this will be the, the pathway and continue. Okay, always remember when you want to draw something, always remember to draw a box if you have some difficulties or difficulties to visualize that thing. Okay. Um, so, I... Uh, uh,
for my explanation on urban Um, okay. Um, can you hear me? Uh, yes, doctor, but I cannot see your screen. Ah, uh, yes, I cannot. You you can see my screen now. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, now I can. Just now it's too late. It's all all um the. Almost done here. So, any anything that you want to ask? Uh, I don't want to give you many more things on the sketches. I worry that you cannot act. Doctor, we can't see your You can see me. Uh, we can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Oh. Yes, oh. but the voice is like breaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I leave this place first. Leave. Okay, can you can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, anything to ask related to I think I finished my Hello? No? So far no eh? Uh no. Okay. There's no yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry, doctor. Your voice is breaking again. Count your your marks and then do the declare it on chat. Then we we straight away can announce the. Um, okay, you ask us to share our marks. Is it? 
because we can't hear you clearly. Okay, uh, so sorry about the line. Um, just to uh, uh, okay again, eh? Uh, please uh, calculate your marks and then do declare it on chat. Then from there we will announce the winner for this session. Anyone to want to announce to declare on chat? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Doctor. Uh, yes, Doctor. Okay, now. Okay. okay, now do 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 mention. Okay, do do declare it on chat. Then I can explain. Yeah, uh, every submission will be declared as ten. Uh, uh, yeah, you will get ten ten marks for every every submission that you just mentioned. Uh, that, that you do in that you did on the uh the platform just now. So I mean, uh, who's the highest? 30, 30, 50. So 40.
40. Okay, I calculate for uh, for uh, I give uh, I account for uh, until 10. Then we we sum up the, the winner. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So the last in uh, the winner will be uh, the first uh, the three winners will be Tan, Ainul Eza and Izati. Okay. Uh, do contact me personally. Um, um, I'll pass the info to Tan. Uh, my phone number. Eh? Zero, Tan, can you take this phone number? 016-228-7607. 016-228-7607. Uh, you may contact me. I'll pass the uh, access code to your to you. Um, the access code will be um, for one month uh, submission, uh, one month uh, access to drawzana.com. Uh, you may access to three, uh, 2,360 demo videos with 15 categories for one month. Okay. So I finalized on that. So that's all I pass back to the uh, organizer. Um, thank you very much. Thank you to Dr. Ruzami Pimat Rani for the wonderful tips and sharing. Hopefully it can benefit all of us and improve our knowledge in sketching and so on. So uh, before we end our event, all the audience and speakers are asked to stay for a while for the photography session. Please switch on your camera and get ready. Thank you for all your cooperation. Now I will pass this session to the media team. Is everyone, is, is everyone ready? Are you still at home? Everybody is at home or in USM? I'm currently uh, mostly, at home. Most, mostly at school. Uh. Mostly at USM, right? Okay, okay. So far, so good. Uh. Mm, so yeah. your second semester, yes. right? Pardon? This is your second semester? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Most of you from USM or other other mm. places, other university, or different different level, different year. Mostly from yeah. USM, but some from other universities. Oh, some from other universities. Oh, yeah. I see. Which universities? Anybody um, can answer that. Anyone? <laughs> oh, UTM. Oh, this dim sum supporter from UTM. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who knows, someday, somehow, I really looking forward to do a live face-to-face -face, uh, session with you all, if you're interested too. You may arrange, uh, we will learn uh, more, more thoroughly on this perspective setting because, uh, yeah, you know the limitations of online. I cannot see your work, then I cannot comment uh, straight away the output from that. Uh, normally, when I did a workshop perspective, um, I like to have face-to-face -face session because it's interesting. Everybody can learn from each other. But now, yeah, of course, Padlet, but we still can can communicate uh, two ways, right? Yeah. So looking forward, if you have an opportunity to do that, I'm, I'm happy to, to work with. Okay? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Everyone, okay. please be ready. One, two, three. Uh, next, one, two, three. Get it wrong. Done? Yeah. Yeah.
yourself, please fill in the attendance link provided in the chat box. It is only available for 10 minutes. All right, uh, Dr. Uzaimi, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today to give, uh, to give us uh, this talk. And uh, yeah. so, so really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, yes, by, by the coming, coming time that we are able to invite you personally, <laughs> physically. Yeah, physically. Campus. Yes, 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 physically. Yes. So I uh, re really appreciate it. Uh, I think uh, all of our students here really learned, learned a lot from you today. So um, um, thank, thank you very much once again, Dr. Zaimi. Yeah. Thank you All very right. much. Okay, thank you. So uh, students, you, can, you guys can, can uh, still be here to register and put your attendance. So Dr. Zaimi, um, you can leave the, the, the chat if, if yeah. you want. Thank you very much. Yeah. So thank you very much, guys. See thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, do contact Dr. me eh, for the winner. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Dr. And thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you everyone. Please remember to fill in the attendance form so that you can get the my CSD marks and e-cert for your SM students. Uh, others from other universities also have to fill in the form, yeah? Thank you. Good job, organizers. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, see you guys. Uh, those who are in USM this year, see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye, right, Doctor. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. B